will we finally get a good 737 MAX 8 model from Harper Wings in scale 500, or is this yet another one best to be avoided? Well, we'll find out right after the drop. And with that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at a Boeing 737 MAX 8 of S7 Airlines. At the front of the box we have the cutout, so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside, and at the top of the box we have the S7 Airlines branding. The backside of the box is another letdown from Harpa Wings, I mean by now we are used to this really awful box design, unfortunately because Harpa really should rethink what they are doing here. It looks cheap and it is not protective of my model. Harpa just get a grip, will ya? And here she is, the Boeing 737 MAX 8 in the standard livery of S7 Airlines. And boy, have I been looking forward to this aircraft model. Firstly, because it is finally a narrow body that we have a good chance of seeing in Europe in the standard livery of the airline, because we've already had an A320 that was, however, in a special livery. And secondly, because I was really looking forward to see if Harper has improved their 737 MAX 8, because that is, and let's face it, very much needed. So let's not waste any more time and let us take a closer look at what this aircraft model has to offer. And we start off with the tail section, where we on the vertical stabilizer have the S7 branding. On the fuselage, we then have the full registration code of the aircraft and the aircraft type specification. And towards the very tail of the aircraft, we do also have a little bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. At the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage, we then have the S7 Airlines branding. We do also find a One World logo, of which the airline is a member, and we have the flag of the Russian Federation. The cockpit section itself, well, it doesn't offer too much. We do have the cockpit windows and the window wipers printed on. On the other side, we have a little curious detail that one of the windows has a red marking around it. Now, this seems to be specific for S7 Airlines MAX 8 aircraft because I haven't really seen it on any other MAX 8 aircraft, but um, good thing for Harper that they noticed it and actually added it. The engine cells, well, they follow the color scheme of the airline and they have the silver leading edge, but that's all printed detailing we get on them. That is rather disappointing. That should definitely be much better. The physical detailing, however, I really cannot fault. That does look really nice. Harper does great with the chevron nozzles. And also when we look into the engines from the front, we can very nicely see the engine fan blades. Then on the fuselage, just above the wings, we have the emergency exits printed on, and that leads us straight to the wings, which we should also take a closer look at. Starting off with the top side, we can see we have the different flaps, slats, and spoilers carved out very nicely. We do also have the markings for the emergency exit printed on. The underside of the wings I think looks rather decent as well. Here we also have the full registration code of the aircraft once again. The biggest problem on the wings however are the winglets. Yes, they do have the S7 Airlines branding printed on and that does look nice, but the winglets are way too bulky and I do not understand why Harper is struggling with this. Because yes, the winglets on the Max series are bulkier than the split scimitars of the 737NG series. However, Harper is really doing well with the split scimitar, so they have proven that they can make really, well, thin winglets. So why are they struggling with this? I do not understand. And unfortunately, that is not the only issue this aircraft model has, because when we look at the landing gear, yes, sure, it does look nice from the physical detailing, but of course it is way too tall. I mean, it looks like the aircraft model is standing on stilts, so that's unfortunate. Then last but not least, we do also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here in the back side of the aircraft and here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Boeing 737 MAX 8 in the standard livery of S7 Airlines from Happy Wings in scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? Well, on the off chance of sounding like a broken record, I think this is yet another missed opportunity by Harper Wings, because they haven't solved any of the known issues with the 737 MAX 8. And that is not just lazy, but it is kind of disrespectful towards their customers, because everyone can see that the model has issues. And it's really a shame, because the mold of the model is bloody good. And it's really not that much they need to change. They need to rework the winglets, make them less bulky, and they really do 
you need to lower the landing gear. Then you have a model here that will actually look rather nice, even though it still lacks a lot of details in the print. So while I really cannot recommend this aircraft model to anyone, I do fully understand the struggle of collectors, because I, just like many others, we just want to have a nice Max 8 or Max 9 aircraft model in scale 500. And Herpa at the moment, unfortunately, is the only option we have for that. But it's really not a good one. So with that unfortunate conclusion, it is time to end today's video. If you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave a like that would be very much appreciated and of course if you are new around here why not hit subscribe that would be absolutely awesome. With that I'd like to say thank you so much for watching hope to see you soon again I'm checking out and bye.